Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing something for my fellow glasses wearers out there. I'm gonna first share with you some awesome makeup tips, especially eye makeup, for people that wear glasses. And then after that, I'm gonna share with you the different pairs of glasses that I own. So I am long-sighted, which means I need glasses to read mostly. So when I'm on my phone, when I'm on my computer, when I'm working at Mac as a makeup artist and I have to do like eyeliner and things like that, uh, I have to wear my glasses. Actually now, when I'm working at Mac, I wear my glasses the whole day. It's just easier than taking them on and off. And the names, for example, of the lipsticks are so small that I basically need to wear my glasses all the time when I'm working at MAC, which is fine. I have a, uh, some days I love wearing glasses. I think they look really geek chic. Uh, and sometimes it annoys me because I feel like it really covers up my eye makeup when I've spent a long time doing it. So I feel like I've really learned to perfect what makes my eyes look better when I'm wearing glasses. And that is what I'm gonna share with you today. So I've popped one of my pairs of glasses on so I can better explain to you why I do my eye makeup the way I do it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the eyebrows. Now when I wear my glasses, I like to make sure I have a really nice shape and form to the brow because when you wear glasses, the eyes can kind of get lost behind the glasses and I feel like having the brows really brings some attention to the eyes and also gives the eyes a little bit of lift because the eyes can tend to look a little bit small with glasses, just because they're set a little bit further back. So I do like to make sure I have a really nice shape to the brows. For actual eyeshadow, when I'm wearing my glasses, I like to stay more in the neutral spectrum of colors, and I like to make sure that they look quite light on the inside. It just makes the eyes look a little bit bigger and brighter. This is kind of the standard way that I like to do my eyeshadow, especially when I'm working at MAC and I have to wear my glasses for the whole day. So I like to stay with the neutral shades. So I first have used a transition shade. I like to stay light browns, maybe a touch of orange in there. It just brings a little bit of warmth to the eyes. And I make sure that I take that transition color way above the crease. Now this can change from person to person because everyone has a different shape of eye and eyelid. So for me, I definitely like to take it way above the crease, but not as high as the eyebrow, so you still have a little bit of room at the top for some highlighter. And that way I feel like even with my glasses on, you can really see a nice pop of color over the top of the glasses. I still like to give my eyes a little bit of dimension, so I do like to go in with a darker brown, sometimes a bit more of a reddy brown, on the outer corner of my eyes and into the crease, not going too high above the crease. I stay away from using black eyeshadow when I'm wearing my glasses. I just feel like black is a little bit too heavy and can make the eyes drop and seem a little bit smaller. Whereas if you just use a nice brown with maybe a hint of red or just a standard brown, it gives a little bit of definition but without being too dark and too smoky. On the front part of my eyelid, I like to normally use a light colored shadow that has shimmer in it just so it brings a little bit of pop to the eyes and it really makes them stand out. It makes them look bright and fresh rather than looking a little bit dark and a little bit droopy uh, thanks to the glasses. And then a couple of tips to make the eyes look a little bit bigger is firstly to definitely put a little bit of highlight on the inner corner of your eyes and a little bit under your brow bone. This is really gonna lift the eyes and make them look a little bit bigger, a little bit more open and a little bit more awake. And another tip is to use a flesh colored eyeliner uh, either a pencil or a cream eyeliner in your waterline as opposed to using a black eyeliner in your waterline. Again, the black eyeliner is gonna make the eyes seem a little bit more smaller and having a light flesh-colored uh, pencil in your waterline is gonna really brighten the eyes, open up the eyes and make them a little bit more noticeable. For my lower lash line, I like to play around a little bit because I stay quite neutral on the top half of my eyes. Sometimes I like to add a little pop of color 
underneath the lower lash line and you can use anything you could use a little bit of greens a little bit of purple like I did today and then I just make sure it's not too harsh by blending it out with a blending brush and my last tip for eye makeup when you are wearing glasses is to do a slight winged eyeliner. Now this can be tricky, winged eyeliner definitely needs to be practiced, unless you're an absolute natural at it, if you are, well done. I certainly was not, and I've practiced and practiced and practiced, and now I have got my winged eyeliner to a place where I can do it pretty quickly, and it normally turns out okay. So I'll just show you why, so if I put on my glasses, I feel like the end part of my eye can sometimes get lost. So my eyes look a little bit smaller. And I feel like when you have the eyeliner on, it really lifts the eyes this way, which gives a beautiful cat eye effect. And then it also brings back the outer part of the eye that can sometimes be lost by the frame of the glasses, especially if you have a dark frame like these ones here. So that's basically all my tips and tricks for eye makeup when you're wearing glasses. It's basically to help the eyes look brighter and bigger and not get lost behind the frame of the glasses. If you guys have any other tips to share if you are a glasses wearer, then let us know in the comments below. It's great to get tips and tricks from other people and to try out some new things. Now I'm gonna quickly share with you the different pairs of glasses that I own. The first pair of glasses I wanna share with you I don't actually have to hand because they are at work in Starlight Express. But if you have watched any of my vlogs, you probably will have seen them and they are my cheapest pair of glasses. I think they were about four or five euros. And they're from the local drugstore, which is called DM. In Germany, we have DM and Rossmann for the drugstore. It's the equivalent of Boots or Superdrug in the UK. So I bought this pair, this really cheap pair from the drugstore, just because they're really flexible on the arms of the glasses. And because I have to wear a wig, I definitely do not want to stretch my more expensive glasses. And they're basically just the lens. They don't have a frame to them, and then I think they just have a blue arms of the glasses and they are quite stretchy so they're just perfect to wear over my wigs and I don't have to worry about dropping them or scratching them, getting makeup on them uh, and things like that. So these are the main pair of glasses that you will have seen me wearing if you've been following me for a while. These are glasses from my opticians, so the lenses have been made specifically for my eyes. I have one eye weaker than the other. I think one, one side is plus 2.5 and the other side is possibly plus 2 or plus 2.5. They're not exactly the same. One is slightly weaker. Uh, so these lenses have been made specifically from my optician. They are from Guess and they came in this hard glasses case. It's not really my preference of a glasses case to have the animal print, um, but I don't mind it too much. And it says Guess on the front here. It did come with a lens cleaner towel inside, but I have misplaced it. And then it says Guess on the top here. I will do a little close up of the glasses now so you can get a better look. So it is a dark brown, almost black frame. It does have a slight turtle shell effect throughout the frame of the glasses. And then on the side, it has this beautiful gold design with like a bronzy copper effect in the middle and it says guess on the side. So I really do love the design of these glasses. I love the dark frame and I absolutely love the design on the side rather than them just being a plain arm here. It just gives a little bit something extra when you have some detail on the side. The only downside to these glasses is that they have absolutely no flexibility in the arms. So if I was to wear these glasses over my wigs at Starlight, they would 100% stretch the arms of the glasses and then they would be miles too big for my head. And also in the summer when it's hot and my face is warmer and I'm giving off more heat from my head, I do find that that makes the arms of the glasses stretch as well. So then I find that they slip down 
uh, very easily. If that happens, I just pop to my opticians, which is in the city, and they will tighten them up for me free of charge, which is no problem, but they will stretch um, if I don't take care of them. <laughs> So these are my most expensive pair of glasses. They cost me around 350 euros, but I definitely wanted a really nice pair because it's something that I have to wear very often now, especially when I'm working at Mac every day. So I think it is important to have a nice pair of glasses. And these are the last pair of glasses that I own. I was contacted by Fearmu, which is a global online optical store, and they asked me if I would be interested in reviewing a pair of their glasses. And I said, yes, absolutely. They do all kinds of different glasses. They do standard sunglasses. They do sunglasses with prescription lenses in. They do the standard prescription glasses like these ones. So I had a browse through the website and I found these ones. And I chose these because they are different to my guest glasses. The frame is obviously a lot lighter. It's an ivory frame with really delicate gold detail in the middle of the frame and also on the arms of the frame. And then it also has a really lovely elegant design on the side. So the glasses are a very similar width to my guest pair, but then the lenses come a little bit more deeper here. And I just feel like they give me a completely different look to the guest ones, which I love because when you have to wear glasses every day, you then you get stuck having the same look every single day. And I never really thought about it before, but now that I have these glasses, which I've had so many compliments on, I definitely want to buy a few more pairs, just so it gives me a little bit more variety, I have a little bit more choice, depending on what style and look I want to go for each day, because I don't want to look the same every day. I like to mix it up and yeah, have an option of what glasses I want to wear. So I received these glasses in this hard case here. It kind of has like a map design on them. And then you open it up and it has obviously a lens cleaning cloth inside with the company brand name on it. It's fearmu.com. So a great thing that came also with these glasses was this soft case. So for example, when I wanna go out for an evening for dinner and maybe some drinks, and I wanna take a small clutch bag as opposed to a bigger handbag, I can pop the glasses in this soft case so they will fit, whereas sometimes the hard cases are a struggle to fit into a small clutch bag. And then inside the soft case was this little keyring, and it is a tiny little screw if the screws in the glasses come loose, which I was like, really shocked to be in there because I've never been offered one of these before and I've actually never thought about going out and purchasing one but I thought this was a nice little extra touch to come with the glasses because it's so annoying when the screws of your frames go loose and then yeah I'm trying to get a knife in there to try and tighten them up so now I have this really cute tiny little screw to make sure that the glasses stay nice and firm and in place these particular glasses cost $33.95, which is such a great price for a really fashionable, stylish pair of glasses. Fearmu have been ever so generous and have given me a coupon code for all of you guys, which I'm gonna leave down below here. And also the link will be in the description box down below. Mm -hmm. So if you click on that link, you can browse through the website and then you will receive a coupon code, which will get you a free frame and free standard lenses. So all you would have to pay for would be the shipping. How awesome is that? So you basically get a free pair of glasses. I hope for anyone watching that does wear glasses, you found this video somewhat helpful and you could maybe try the little tips and tricks that I suggested in this video for yourselves. And I hope none of you ever feel uncomfortable or frustrated if you have to wear glasses. I know so many people that don't need glasses and they buy them with no prescription, just as fashion glasses, because they can look very, very fashionable, very geek chic, as I said. So just embrace it, get yourself a variety of pairs so you can change up your look. And don't forget the um, coupon code is down below in the description box. 
So I'll see you all in my next video. And until then, ich liebe euch. I love you guys. Bye.